So I really like film and TV, and one of the things that this channel has afforded me is an avenue to talk about weird, obscure things about TV shows that I could talk about for hours. I'm not really in the habit of reviewing TV shows, I just want to talk about the things that stood out to me about them. So a couple months ago, I really, really wanted to make a video on Friends because it was one of my favorite TV shows growing up, and one of the biggest things that stood out to me about Friends was how the entire cast would get into relationships with each other. The possibility of any of these characters hooking up or dating was never off the table, and it was really interesting to me because I've never seen anything like like that on this scale. You see, introducing romantic interests is a very simple but effective tool sitcoms use to introduce conflicts and storylines to their shows. But oftentimes, romantic interests are played by guest stars, so what we often end up seeing is a character dating a one-off person in a single episode, or maybe even a couple episode arc, and then disappearing never to be seen again. But letting characters in the main cast enter into romantic relationships with each other is a way of creating a sustainable arc that could last seasons, even the entirety of the show. So I made a video about how to accomplish that. The Friends writers essentially made all the characters enter into borderline incestuous relationships with each other. And people were mad at my use of the word incestuous. I obviously meant it in a hyperbolic way. None of the Friends cast are related, well, except Monica and Ross. So no, in a literal sense, none of those relationships would be incestuous. But I was more so making a comment about how because the Friends were so close, them dating and hooking up with each other was kind of incestuous. Someone even sent me a message on a separate platform telling me to change the title of my video because it was dangerous and insensitive. But what that onset of comments did make me think about though were are there any other sitcoms I've watched where the characters did have literal incestuous relationships with each other? And then I was like, oh yeah, Modern Family. That show's all about incest. So Modern Family is a pretty unique show because all of the characters are related to each other either through blood, marriage, or adoption. So any of the main characters having feelings for any of the others would actually be incest in the most literal sense of the word. So because of this, the writers do stay away from actually having any of the main characters date each other, which thank god, but to circumvent the incest issue, they would still play into it as a punchline. So none of these characters date or hook up with each other, but the writers still imply attraction among these characters, oftentimes as a joke. And the first couple of times you're like, okay, sure, but they do it constantly throughout the entire show. Pretty much at any given point, one of these characters has a crush on a family member, which is just insane. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the actual incestuous relationships in Modern Family. Happy now? I'm actually using the literal definition. So let's look at the Modern Family family tree. Starting off with Phil and Gloria. So Phil is married to Claire, who is the daughter of Jay, and Jay is married to Gloria, which technically makes Gloria Phil's mother-in-law. So since the beginning of the show, Phil has been shown to have somewhat of a crush on Gloria. Oftentimes this comes out as Phil mistakenly making advances towards Gloria out of misunderstandings. Oh, a beautiful dress. I thank you, Phil. <laughs> okay. No, well, that's... Phil. <laughs> That's how she says Phil, not feel. <laughs> Look who's wearing your itsy bitsy bikini. He can comment because he's gay. He was talking about Lily. So was I. But even beyond that, it has been shown that Phil actually has a crush on her. I also found it weird because it's pretty clear that Phil would never act on this. And it's one thing to find someone physically attractive, but it's a whole other thing to be caught oogling and staring at someone constantly. Mom, that perv is oogling you again. No! I was reading my horoscope. You will borrow a huge swimsuit today. What? <laughs> I found it to kind of be inconsistent with Phil's character because he's been shown to be a very devoted husband and father, and while we know he would never cheat on Claire, I think constantly having the joke of Phil constantly looking at Gloria inappropriately is weird. Every time they make that joke, it always feels like something Phil would never do, but he does. Claire also seems to be aware of Phil's crush, but is fine with it because she knows he'll never do anything about it, which I guess makes it marginally better. Although there was that episode where Phil and Gloria shared a kiss. They went to a basketball game and ended up on the kiss cam. Phil really did not want to kiss her, but Gloria said it was no big deal and they kissed on the kiss cam. For the remainder of the episode, Phil felt extremely guilty about the kiss and went out of his way to hide from Claire. The kiss was never a real indication of attraction between the two and Phil feeling guilty only reaffirms he would never try anything with Gloria. Which makes the constant flirting jokes even more weird. Now I already know what people are gonna say, well Phil and Gloria aren't technically related so it's fine. Stop it. You're weird. Yes, Phil and Gloria aren't related by blood, but Gloria is Phil's mother-in-law, so it would still be pretty weird. So Manny is the biological son of Gloria and the adoptive son of Jay, and Claire is the biological daughter of Jay, which makes Manny Haley's step-uncle. So remember when Manny had a crush on Haley? Is Haley still coming? You're related. 
I will spray you with the hose. In the early seasons of the show, Manny had a strong infatuation with his step-niece Haley. Haley never really gave Manny the time of day, and Jay at every turn discouraged Manny's attraction, which I guess was a good thing. Happy to let her change in my room. I think at that point, Manny scratched his into the fact that he was really young and wouldn't know any better, and that it was okay because, again, technically speaking, Manny and Haley are not blood related. But again, that doesn't matter, and it doesn't make it any less weird. Oh, oh uh, hey! Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I didn't feel anything. I mean, of, of course, I felt something. You do have them. Why I mean, didn't uh, you honk? Wouldn't that have just made it worse? Oh. There was one episode where Haley spent the night over at Jay's house when he had all the kids over for a sleepover, and throughout the night, Jay had to reprimand Manny anytime he tried to make any sort of advances towards Haley. Manny also was in kind of a weird competition with Dylan, Haley's date. He was constantly jealous of him, and he just could not figure out why Haley would rather date him than her own uncle. As the series went on and Manny got older, his crush went away, which is great, except Manny has so many other instances of crushing on his family members. Manny and Sonia. Okay, so this one was just crazy because this is literally just straight up incest. Manny had a crush on his aunt. Not his aunt through marriage or adoption. This was his biological aunt, Gloria's sister, Sonia. We were first introduced to Sonia when she visited for baby Joe's baptism. She was really meek, soft-spoken, and non-confrontational, broken down by having to still live at home with her mother in Colombia. We found out later in the episode, however, that when Jay met Gloria, he was initially interested in Sonia, but Gloria was the first one to make a move. Sonia became enraged at Gloria because she seemingly stole her life, a life where she could have been free of her mother and made it out of her village. To make amends, Gloria promises to help Sonia out however she can, and Sonia has held a grudge against her sister ever since. Many episodes and seasons later, Sonia makes a return after Gloria starts a business selling her homemade hot sauce. We find out that it was a family recipe, and Sonia initially had the idea to make a hot sauce business to make it out of her village, but Gloria discouraged her saying it was a stupid idea, only to end up stealing her idea years later. So Sonia feels entitled to the sauce business, and kidnaps Manny to blackmail Gloria into giving it to her. The weird part about it is, Manny is inexplicably attracted to Sonia, and I can't emphasize this enough, he is biologically related to her. Manny's here. I had to bring him back. He was driving me crazy with his googly eyes. My eyes are but lifeless orbs compared yeah, to- Yeah, go get me a beer. As long as this isn't that thing where the person gets kidnapped and this- Why am I only now noticing how beautiful you are? I've got one son who's a kleptomaniac, the other who's in love with his own aunt, creepy even by your standards. Also, at this point in the show, he's old enough to know better. It's especially weird because this comes out of nowhere. He's never been seen to be attracted to his aunt before, so it's literally only in this episode and split all for laughs. They kind of do acknowledge how depraved it is, but it is such a weird joke to make at this point. I swear to God, whenever the writers have even a small chance to make an incest joke, they never skip out on the opportunity. You know... Maybe Manny's the problem here. Joe and Claire. So Joe is the biological son of Gloria and Jay, which makes Joe and Claire half-siblings. Joe, who is the biological son of Claire's dad, Jay, has a crush on her. Joe's crush on his half-sister started off as a passing joke where it seemed like he just wanted to spend time with her, but as time went on, it became a little bit more clear that he had a full-on crush on Claire. There was an episode where Phil was sick and had to go to the hospital for surgery, and Joe was more interested in the idea of Claire being single and him possibly being able to date her rather than Phil's safety. If Phil dies, was Claire going to need a husband? He's not going to die, bud. But to answer your question, yes, probably. You have to move on with life. Wow. In another episode, on Valentine's Day, Phil and Claire babysit Joe, and throughout the night, he tries to come between Phil and Claire. He gets her a Valentine's Day card and even goes as far as to lock Phil out of the house. So he At the end of the night, however, Phil sat him down and had a talk with him about his crush on Claire. He says he can't compete with him and basically asks him nicely to let him have Claire. And Joe says, Okay. Is Haley seen one? Easy. Man, what is this show? Honestly, because Joe is really young, I guess it's a little bit more excusable, but at the end of the day, the writers could have easily just not let this be a thing. I don't understand why there were so many incest jokes at all. So even though Joe is just a kid and doesn't know any better, and it probably isn't that unrealistic for a kid to have this kind of crush, I still think that the show's insistence on having this be a plotline is weird. Like, they really could just not have an incest storyline, it wouldn't have killed them. Joe's crush is really innocent and they do treat it with grace, but yeah, no. Claire and Luke. 
So Luke is Claire's biological son. So this one's pretty weird. So in an episode where Claire realizes she oftentimes had to play the bad cop and say no to everything, she decided that she's going to say yes to everything to be more positive. At her yoga class, the instructor confides in her that she's dating a much younger man in his early 20s. Claire trying to keep her word is approving of the relationship. The instructor shows Claire a picture of the guy in question and it's a picture of his abs. Both Claire and Gloria react to the picture not realizing it's actually a picture of Luke. I think this is just another one of those many instances where the writers kind of found a way to make an incest joke in a way where they really didn't need to. Yeah, yeah. check out the selfie he sent of his <gasps> abs. Damn! Mm. Like, did we really have to do this? Anyways, for the remainder of the episode, Claire gets confused and thinks the picture was of Manny until the very end of the episode where the truth comes out that it was actually Luke. Claire finally has enough and decides to go back to her old ways of telling everyone no. Then, in the end of the episode, we get this. Uh, I know I'm the only one, but it is my favorite. Don't apologize, Mom. You know what you like. Never mind, I'm good. I mean, at least Claire is uncomfortable with the idea, but again, why did they have to introduce this idea at all? It's so weird. What's even crazier about this is that Luke is dating someone way older than him and they disapprove of it, but no one really does anything about it. Like, Luke is acting as a stepfather to this woman's teenage daughter. Denise, your mother and I deserve one night off. It's how you feel about the B- Denise, not how your mother and I feel about it. No, I'm not saying no to the Amsterdam trip. Yeah, it sounds like a fun summer. There's just this whole storyline of Luke being groomed and having sex with much older women at the club, and everyone's like, yeah, it's fine. Manny and Gloria. So, Manny is Gloria's biological son, and they have a pretty weird relationship. So Manny and Gloria have an equally weird relationship. For the most part, they have a pretty standard loving mother-son relationship, but there are times where they make jokes about the implication of Manny having a secret attraction to Gloria. There's a lot of jokes about Manny actually being into his mom and them having a very inappropriate mother-son relationship. There was even an episode where Manny pretended like he was dating his mom just because it made him seem cooler. This was definitely one of the more weirder implications, but in case you think I'm downplaying this, here's a montage of Manny seemingly having a crush on his mom. And then she doesn't even show up today? Maybe Kylie changed her mind about camp. Maybe she plans to be with many men and she doesn't deserve you. There is no way that Manny has seen this sort of thing at our home. We'll take it from here. I just miss you. I guess it's not so terrible of you stopping by every now and then. I've got a bombshell, Mom. Hi, bye. And thank you, but this is a very weird thing to say when we're in this position. What is with this show? Lily and Manny. So Lily is the adoptive daughter of Mitchell and Cameron, and Mitchell is the biological son of Jay, which makes Manny Lily's uncle. So yeah, Manny is definitely the problem. Lily also has a crush on Manny, which is just... yeah... Sure, why not? In one episode where the family is taking a train to Jay's ex-wife's wedding, Lily confides in Haley about her crush on Manny, and Haley actually encourages it. Like, she doesn't discourage Lily at all, she actually kind of encourages her to go for it. This show is just crazy. And in the same episode, Haley tries to let Manny know about the crush, but Manny mistakenly thinks Alex is the one who has a crush on him, and he actually thinks about going for it. He only kind of talks himself out of it because they're related, and he finally decides to turn her down, but they almost accidentally hook up. I'm just honestly really impressed that this show was able to have so many incest jokes, like nobody's safe. Claire and Cameron and Mitchell. So this isn't incest in the most literal sense, but there was that one episode where Claire offered to be a surrogate for Mitchell and Cameron so they could have a biological child that had both of their DNAs. And I think that was actually really sweet. I don't think it was weird, but I don't put it past the writers at all, especially because based on everything we've seen from them so far, this could again be another way for them to have this weird kind of incestuous fantasy. I genuinely believe this was their way of trying to say, hmm, how can we write an episode or joke where the implication is Claire and Mitchell, who are brother and sister, are getting together? I think this was a clever way of them doing that, especially since Mitchell is gay anyways, but yeah. I think there might have been some ulterior motives here. 
Jay and Stella. This was a really fun one. So throughout the show, it's kind of implied that Jay loves his dog more than his wife, Gloria. Jay and Stella have a very close relationship, and oftentimes there are jokes that Jay and Stella are together. I think this one is actually funny. Jay cares a lot about her, oftentimes treats her like a human. He even buys her Valentine's Day gifts. Like, they really lean heavily into this bit. Gloria, still up there. No, but I am. Why don't you say hello to your wife when you come home? Well, why don't you greet me at the door wagging your tail? <laughs> Look at her. Come on, we said no Stella in the bed. Oh, but she, get her a towel, she's shaking like a leaf. So that's it. Those are all the incestuous relationships from Modern Family I could think of. It's crazy to me how big of a theme this was in the show. It's definitely not something I thought about a lot while watching the show. And I think that's because in the narrative of the series, none of these pranks are ever presented as being inappropriate. Like they're all pretty much played for laughs. So whenever they make these implications that these relatives might be attracted to each other, we're supposed to laugh at the absurdity of that rather than be like, hmm, that's weird. That's a weird joke for you to make for 11 years. Is there something you guys are trying to tell us? So anyways, let me know what your guys' thoughts were, whether or not you actually caught on to any of these relationships while you were watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.